Good afternoon, traders. It's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures, and it's your midday market minute. What began as a steady session after uh, yesterday's good, solid close following the FOMC minutes. You know, beautiful day here in Chicago. Looking forward to the weekend, the long weekend coming. But the White House canceled the North Korean summit and volatility broke loose. Volatility brings opportunity, and that's what today brought. Uh, you have a higher low in the S&P than we saw uh, yesterday, overnight coming into yesterday. Uh, that really put a solid low in, and the S&P's uh, back above 2720. Got the NASDAQ trying to push on change, got the Russell hanging on change, 10 points off its low, a lot of volatility. Ultimately though, uh, you know what we're looking at is, is the 10-year note. The 10-year note price never really accelerated higher on this news. It, it traded higher yesterday after the FOMC minutes were dovish, and we, we won't go into those dovish minutes again. We've talked about that enough already, but the 10-year the traded higher after those FOMC minutes and did not really extend gains. They were trading at 119, 16, 17 overnight. Uh, 119, 20, 21 was, was about the high we saw coming uh, after this news. And the fact that the treasuries did not really extend higher really meant the fear gauge had not ticked up much. That signaled that this, this low in the S&P should hold. Uh, and that's this is where we find ourselves. So the tradable opportunity this morning, but, but it may not be done. You got a lot of momentum. You got a big tail left in the session yesterday and now today so look for this thing to finish higher and if it gets out above the overnight highs we could run we're less worried about 2744 2741 we're looking and targeting major three-star resistance at 2756 moving on we'll talk about crude oil it, it did hold our major three-star support we talked about it on the morning express today look for that to be a buying opportunity we're hugging back to 71 dollars look for some momentum is the bottom on this move in though maybe not because the crude oil ahead of these long weekends or or when fridays become very friendly that that low may come in overnight uh, so look for this area to hold ultimately and look for a, a solid push higher into the weekend we like this trade and remember the net long uh, commitment of traders has been reduced for the last four weeks and crude oil has held 70 dollars yesterday's eia report was bearish and the market could not break and those are just a number of bullish factors and we're heading into this we are in this seasonally bullish time of year look for crude oil to make another stand another pushback towards the highs um, you know ultimately though again you must see this major three-star support level hold especially on a closing basis give us a call we're here to talk about anything on the board gold silver moving pretty big again give us a call 312-278-0500 you can email us info at bluelinefutures.com check our website for updates and you can sign up for a free trial of our research but remember futures trading involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors thank you